Happy Sunday, everybody. This is Scott Grossberg, author of The Most Magical Secret, Four Weeks to an Ecstatic Life. And I'm really excited to be sharing uh, another concept with you today that will help take your thoughts of success and happiness to the next level of empowerment. Now, in The Most Magical Secret, I talk to you a lot about ultimately creating an ecstatic life and I want to get even more specific today about what that means. Now the action guide helps you go through a six session uh, protocol and a sharing and an accountability group that helps you get there. But let's get even more specific and I'm going to do that by putting something on a whiteboard for you and showing you just a little tidbit of what happens in my live events when I actually take people to specific articulable discussions about success and happiness because as I've mentioned in earlier videos to you I have a belief that success is something you feel happiness is something you do and in order for you to feel and do those things you actually have to be specific. Now what does all that mean? Let me digress for just a minute and explain something. We've been hearing a lot about how important it is to think outside the box. I have a challenge for you. I don't want you to think outside the box. I want you to continue to think inside your box. I want you to redefine what your box actually is. So here's what I'm talking about. This would be the box that we all create for ourselves. Inside that box are actually four smaller squares, four smaller boxes. And they're comprised of only four things. One is love. The other is health. A third one is money. And then finally, opportunities and all abbreviate that here. That's it. If you've read some of my blog articles, you'll notice that these completely equate to the more concept, money, opportunity, relationships, and energy. That's it. That's all anybody ever wants in order to feel better. And that's what everybody ultimately wants, by the way, is to feel better. This is what they are. All you have to do is take each one of these boxes, love, health, money, and opportunity, money, opportunity, energy, relationships, if you, if you prefer to see it that way, and start defining those. And once you define what love means for you, what it actually looks like, concrete, practical, real love, health, what does health look like for you? What does it feel like for you? Money, you wanna be a millionaire? Tell me what that looks like. Are you actually prepared to be a millionaire? opportunities, your career, your vocation, your avocations. What does that look like for you? What is the perfect real world box that you're creating for yourself? And then here's the real secret. Anything that falls outside those four, those four boxes, you simply say no to. And I mean it, you say no to everything that falls outside your personally created, amazingly defined box of abundance, your square of abundance. This is a big distinction for you right here. Most people go through life saying yes to everything and that's how they get unfocused and that's how they don't get things done, that's how they get stuck. Imagine a life instead where you're saying no to anything that doesn't fall within your definition of love. Saying no to anything that doesn't fall within your definition of health. Saying no to anything that doesn't fall within your game plan for money and saying no to anything that doesn't bring you further in what you believe to be opportunities or vocation or your job or your career. Now, if you actually look at this, you'll see that this, I'm going to write internal here, love and health is actually an internal checklist that's going on. The money and opportunities is actually external. And there are ways for you to keep score. Remember, as I said before, when I ask people if they're happy, 
they immediately go through this little internal checklist and say, well, this is how I feel, this is... And when I ask them, are they successful, they go through an external checklist. Well, how much money do I have in the bank and what have I accomplished and things like that. Once you understand this, I'm asking you to flip the internal and the external. And I want you to start thinking of love and health as things that you do and money and opportunity as things that you feel. That's an important distinction for you using this little chart. So I, I don't want to get too mired down uh, in this. This is actually going to be the subject of my next book uh, entitled, What Do You Know, N-O? Uh, but I wanted to tip it to you, tip, tip it to you because you're part of this group today. Because I think it's a powerful way for you to now take what I've put in the, the most magical secret and enhance it. So again, take a piece of paper, draw a square, break that into four quadrants, and then write love, health, money, and opportunity. And then break down each one of these, just four things, just four things, my friends. Break down what each one of those actually means, what they actually look like for you. And once you understand what these four things look like, you then dedicate yourself, commit yourself to say no to everything else. I've said it before, Warren Buffett, I believe, was the one who made the quote, the difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no more often. Here's how you say no more often. You say no to anything that isn't inside the box that you've created. Now, you've got a powerful tool here. I can't wait to hear how you implement this and how you put this into uh, amazing action. And with that, go out and make it a magical week.